Crystal of Atlan is an anime RPG that I have been covering since it was announced, I think back in 2021. And as of this week, they actually have closed beta going on, admittedly for Android only, not iOS, not PC. I have a link to the pre-registration on my website down in the description and the pinned comment below. All you gotta do is click that link to navigate on over there and make your way over to the pre-registration page. And while I do urge you to go ahead and pre-register while you have the chance either for this beta or for an upcoming beta, they released a trailer for the beta test and a friend of mine, Chaotic, actually has gameplay from the game and I want to take a look at both of those videos. Before we go any further, I just want to take a moment here to thank all of the absolute chads and chadettes that support this channel via Patreon. You're all freaking legends. Seriously, each and every single one of you. I would offer to give each of you a kiss, but I suffer from severe intimacy issues. Additionally, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest MMO gotcha and gaming news, take a second here to follow Mrs. Six and I over on Twitter. We tweet daily. We are gonna take a look at the full trailer for the game first. Now this is an action game. This is an action RPG. No, uh, no turn base, no card game. Uh, no, I don't think it has auto combat, which is a big plus for me because uh, action games, I, I feel like you need to actively play them to enjoy action games. They're they are cha uh, channeling some serious dungeon fighter though, I feel like, with this. Especially with that character. 100%. See, that trailer, that actually looked really good, but does the actual game look even remotely close to being as good as what was being presented to us in that? Do different cool and that is what we're here to check out with Chaotix video. Now I am gonna mute him. No, no offense to Chaotix, but uh, I don't want you guys to have to deal with, you know, hearing him and then hearing my voice over his reacting to it. But man, this actually looks so good. The combat looks incredible. Oh man, the graphics too. Oh my God, you are kidding. I Jesus. This looks like you can freely aim. Like I said, requires actual aim. Now, I, I believe what I'm seeing here is, uh, is the ability to, like it, it has a, a soft lock, I guess. I'm not sure. It says verse. This is PvP. This is actual PvP then. He's versing another player. So, so he actually... I'm actually curious. No, he's just talking. I was hoping I get to hear uh, voice acting or the combat effects, but unfortunately not. Wait, hold on. Are they his party members? Wait, are they his party members or are they actual players? No, they're, they're, they're definitely following him, right? They're not players, no way.
seeing these characters in motion though. Very fluid animations, damn. Like you guys gotta admit, the future the future of anime gacha games is looking very promising. Now, given there was a verse mode present, I am I, I'm genuinely hoping here that uh, that that means you can at least participate in some kind of group content. Oh, dude, some of the ultimates look so sick. Now, I just actually finished looking at the Zenless Zone Zero trailer on, uh, on my main channel, but while Zenless Zone Zero has the funding of, uh, dude, you almost got one tapped. Holy crap, chaotic, bro. While this game does not have the funding of a Hoyo game, it, it looks pretty damn good. The fluidity and the movements, the special effects, the ult, uh, the ultimate abilities, boss fights, the general quality of the game feels really high. Surprisingly good. Admittedly, the, the NPCs, not so much. But at the same time, you know, this is a this is this is a beta test. You know, it it's to be expected. There's only really so much you can expect out of a uh, a test phase. So it looks as though you, you have gear that you can equip on your characters too. That's cool. I like having a, a reason to grind out content. I like there to be a purpose behind leveling up and gearing your character. Now, initially when this was announced, I feel like a lot of us thought it was going to be an MMO and it doesn't look like it is, but that doesn't make me any less excited for it because it's a gorgeous looking anime gacha game and I love those. Now we do not have a release date for this yet. We do not know when this is going to come out globally. We do not know if this is going to come out cross platform onto PC as well. What we do know is it looks good. And for right now, that is all that matters. Now, if Crystal of Atlan looks like a game that you're interested in and you should be, then you're gonna like the two videos I have on screen right now. One details the most anticipated gacha game of 2023. The other features a list of upcoming anime gachas that are going to take the gacha scene by storm. Both of these videos, all of these games are games you need to know about and that you should be playing when they come out.